Hello students, in this video we'll find the present value of an annuity stream where the payments in the annuity stream are geometrically increasing. So given the stream of payments, according to this number line, I'm going to do an, put this for annuities immediate. Here's time 0, here's time 1, here's time 2, here's time 3, here's time n minus 1, and here's time n. A traditional annuity immediate, you would get $1 at time 1, $1 at time 2, $1 at time 3, $1 all the way down to time n. Now what will happen is you're going to start with $1, then you're going to get a 1 plus r. So you're going to get a 1 plus r at time 2. At time 3, you're going to get 1 plus r squared, all the way down to 1 plus r to the n minus 1. So you're going to have a geometrically increasing progression that is ramping up as time moves forward. So what's the present value of this stream? So the present value is given by what? Well, it's given by nu, and then plus 1 plus r times nu squared, plus 1 plus r squared at time 3, nu cubed, all the way down to 1 plus r to the n minus 1, nu to the n. Now, this would be an ordinary geometric regression. I'm just missing an extra factor of 1 plus r over here. So I'm going to call this expression over here i. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this whole expression by 1 plus r in order to bump all the factors of 1 plus r up. So i times 1 plus r is going to be nu 1 plus r plus 1 plus r quantity squared, nu squared, plus all the way down to 1 plus r to the n, new to the n. Okay? Excellent. And now we recall our common formula. So now that everything is a common uh, expression over here. So recall now that if we have 1 plus a plus a squared plus all the way to a to the power n, then what is this? This is exactly just going to be 1 minus a to the n plus 1 over 1 minus a, okay? And so if I started with a, as we have over here, we're going to subtract off 1. So what's the formula now? So if I subtract off a from this, I have a plus a squared all the way down to a to the n. It's going to be 1 minus a to the n plus 1 over 1 minus a. And I have to subtract 1, so I'm going to subtract 1 minus a over 1 minus a. And now they have a common expression over here. And so what we see is this is going to turn into a factor of what? This is going to be an a. This expression over here is going to be just a minus a to the n plus 1 over 1 minus a. Okay? So we use that formula over here. So now this is equal to, that's my, my a is now new, 1 plus r minus a new 1 plus r to the power n plus 1. all divided by 1 minus nu times 1 plus r, okay? Now that's a little bit of a mess, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything by 1 plus i, okay? So if I do that, what's going to happen? I'm going to do a 1 plus i on the top and a 1 plus i on the bottom. And that will have the effect of canceling out 1 power of nu. So if I do this, what will this become? This is going to become the 1 plus i times this nu over here is just going to give me a 1 plus r, 1 plus r. And then I'm going to get one less nu over here, so I'm going to have a nu to the n. Then I'm going to have a minus nu to the n. I'm going to write like this. Let's write this as just nu to the n. And then 1 plus r to the n plus 1, all divided by. I'm going to have a 1 plus i, and then minus 1 plus r. 1 plus i minus 1 plus r. Okay? Now remember, this is a formula we have for what? This is a formula for i times 1 plus r. So I need to cancel out that 1 plus r. So I'm going to cancel out one factor of 1 plus r, and notice that the denominator is just i minus r over here. So I'm going to have an i minus r. So hence, the present value of this stream is going to be, this is going to turn into a 1, 1, minus, this is going to be a 1 plus r to the n. I'm going to write this as 1 plus r over 1 plus i, because nu is 1 plus i to the power n, divided by, the ones are going to cancel out over here, I'm just going to get an i minus r. 
Beautiful. Now, one thing we can note is that I need to have that I being bigger than R for this formula to work, or I cannot be equal to R, otherwise this formula is going to degenerate into nothing. So we need to have that restriction on the problem. Now, one immediate consequence of this is that I let n go to infinity, and I know that R is less than I as n goes to infinity. We get the, um, so this will of course be the present value up to, up to time n. This formula becomes, this becomes a perpetuity. A geometrically increasing perpetuity. With present value, what will the present value be? As n goes to infinity, this term is going to go to zero. The present value of that, perp that infinite perpetuity is going to be one over i minus r. And so that's the present value of a perpetuity immediate where you're getting an increasing progression of payments as time moves forward. Thank you very much.